Hey everybody, welcome back to About the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. And today we're going to be talking about Emma. Period. In this time of man's great innocence. Innocence? Innocence? No. So Emma is a rated PG, it's 2 hours and 5 minutes long and it's directed by Autumn DeWild and it is of course adapted by Jane Austen's Emma. Um, although this one has Emma period on there. So I have never seen any of the previous adaptations of Emma currently listening to the book. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by Audible but yeah I know how much I love Miss Emma Audible. I'm going to get halfway through the book. So Emma period. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. This, I feel, is really only going to be enjoyed by those who are like true Jane Austen fans. Mind you, this is a whole other adaptation of the uh, book. I don't even know how many. This, as far as I know, is the third one. I know there was one with Kate Beckinsale and then, of course, Gwyneth Paltrow's um, version of it. And this one, to me, is my third. I don't really know how many there are. If you are like a, a big Jane Austen fan, I feel like you're going to enjoy it. Um, if you are into period pieces, you're going to enjoy this. This is definitely not a movie you would want to take your kids to. This is definitely not a movie, like a family movie. Not that there's anything, you know, like bad or anything like that. I don't think Jane really ever writes anything like that. I don't think so. Um, could be wrong. One of the differences straight off the bat would be in the first 20 minutes, you do end up seeing Mr. Notley's bum, um, which was not in the book. For whatever reason, they decided to put it on um, in this movie. Uh, they also end up, well, he was like, on all naked but you just see the bum and then you kind of cut to another scene and then you go and you see Emma and then she kind of puts her dress up to warm her tushy in the fireplace that's also not in the book I really don't know why they did this to be honest with you I really don't feel like it gave anything to the movie but it's there um it is still rated PG let me let me circle back to where I was at the beginning. I know how I wander off. Of course, if you do have kiddos who do love these books, then they may enjoy it as well. Or just generally Jane Austen, then it might be a nice little treat for them. Um, but just to go and take them, no. Um, I myself do enjoy period pieces. Depending on how they are, um, like The King from Netflix, I love that movie. It's so great. A lot of people, it wasn't, you know, their cup of tea. And which is quite didn't cut it for me it was pretty dull it, it was hard to kind of stay focused my mind would wander it was way too long mind you it does have is uh, funny moments and I did chuckle quite a bit throughout the movie which is what really lightened up the mood and really kind of kind of forced me more so to like stay focused and really pay attention to what's going on now where you are going to laugh more would be when Mrs. Elton because she's always talked I'm like a Mrs. Elton to be honest with you God, I am. And uh, Mr. No, not Miss, Mrs. Elton. <laughs> Mrs. Bates. And then Mr. Elton also made me laugh. And of course, uh, Mr. Uh, Woodkill with his hypochondriac. Go ahead and move on to the positives of this movie, uh, which it does have quite a few. And actually, this movie is going to be, I guess, the official pre like really early talk about oscars this movie has possibilities to get nominated for an oscar uh mainly for like costume design um also for uh like set design um they had really beautiful set they had re oh the costumes you guys were absolutely gorgeous and breathtaking oh my god even like all the pastries that were around i'm just like dude like I want one of those. Oh my god, the only spoiler I'm going to give you guys but not really a spoiler. It's like funny. I don't know if that was in the book that was passed from where I got to the book. Uh, but when they were at this dinner party and uh, Mr. Elton, no, it wasn't Mr. Elton. Yes, it was Mr. Elton. That made sure they bought snow and the dad freaked out and the sister. And because of course they were hypochondriacs and they are like heading out. And the dad and, the, and uh, Mr. Woodhill and the sister go in the carriage. <laughs> that's like pushing the daughters like your husband is too weak he's not gonna make it you guys it's barely like snowy there's nothing the husband's just standing out there um and mr knightley's all like i guess you're you're with me and he's all like didn't you hear it looks like i'm not gonna make it i'm um, like it was just so funny it's like it was like really like very subtle humor again i can't compare it to any of the previous adaptations because i've never seen them and i cannot full on compared to the book because I myself have not finished the book. Overall, Emma was a really good movie. Not for everybody. Like I said, it was dull, but it did have its moments and it was very beautiful to look at. So 
because of that i'm gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn rating uh just because the overall everything you know of the movie i'm not just going with the story if i'm going with the story and entertainment then i would give it a small popcorn so with that said i do not recommend for you guys to go um check this movie out in theaters i feel like you should just wait for it um to come on redbox or streaming online that is of course if you are not like a full-on jane austen fan because if you are or if you love period pieces then i say go watch it everybody else i really i don't think you should but if you have seen emma let me know down below what you guys uh, thought about it jaddy should you hit it was it just not for you um if you've seen previous adaptations which one was your favorite let me know down below of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified to that i post something new till next time i'll be seeing you guys next session bye